We're here in the Lukash Gallery with my friend Olivia talking about your amazing project called Connection. So tell us a little bit about the artwork that we're seeing right behind us and what inspired you to work on this as your project. Okay, so I worked on this as part of my exhibition seminar, uh, which is an art class that I took. And the um, basis of my project was like the theme of the moon. And um, these two pieces behind us were based on a poem about a calf that has that was born with two heads, and it can see twice as many stars in the sky as other calves. So I drew that with two moons. And then um, my class also had like a social justice component to it. So um, to relate it to social justice, an idea that I had, um, which is what my knitted piece was based on, was um, like everybody around the world sees the same phase of the moon no matter where they are. So it's like a connecting force for everyone. And then um, those pieces over there that are like the um, watercolor paintings, those are also based on different cultures, like um, the one that's different moon goddesses from different cultures dancing around a fire. Yeah, so you kind of just touched upon it a little bit. I mean, it's all so beautiful to think about that connection throughout the world. But tell us a little bit about how diversity and inclusive excellence kind of plays into maybe this one piece that you're talking here. Um, tell us how that theme kind of plays into this larger project. Um, yeah, so I mentioned the moon was, um, I thought of it as like a connecting force for everybody on Earth. And then also um, I focused more on that in like the watercolor paintings that I made. Um, one of them is based, uh, it's a drawing of the singer Mitski, and that was based on her song, Your Best American Girl, because in the song, she's talking about her love interest who's an American man, and she feels like she doesn't fit the American beauty standard as someone who's from Japan and has lived in a bunch of different countries. She compares him to the sun, but says that she's not the moon. And then that was also another idea in my projects, was the moon is a lot of the time depicted as like a feminine figure or a woman. So then I drew her and then some other woman, and like focused on themes of femininity also mm, in my art. What an important message from from that artist and from who she's depicting in the photo. That's 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 wonderful. They look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, so pivoting a little bit, let's talk about faculty involvement in your project. You did call out a professor that helped you a lot along the way. So let's talk about that relationship. Um, yeah, I made this for my art class with Professor Chamlin Richer. And she's an art professor who I've had for a few other classes as well. And um, she gave me some ideas for my project. She actually was the one who I originally was going to make only one oil painting, and she suggested I do two. So then I originally was just doing this one on the right here, but then after that I decided to do this, which is like a zoomed out version of the first. And she gave me some other ideas for projects, um, such as like phases of the moon and some other aspects of the artwork as well. Yeah. So you talked a little bit about why this project was important um, in an overgeneral way. Let's talk about why it was important to you. Is there something very specific about the project that really you hold close to your heart? Um, I think some of the themes explored in my project are important, like themes of like womanhood and um, femininity or people being connected with one another. And also um, I wanted to show an appreciation for like different cultures in my work, which is why I did like the moon goddess piece and like um, referenced like songs and poetry that talked about um, like different places around the world. Sure, yeah, that absolutely makes sense. So you are a senior, last but not least, my final question is what's next? Where do you hope these pieces live on or better what's next on your art journey? Um, well, some people that I know have offered to buy the larger pieces. <laughs> and um, after, I, um, after I graduate, I'm planning on attending Fairfield. I'm doing a five-year program for elementary education. So I would like to continue making art in classrooms with my future elementary students. And I think the things that I've learned here at Fairfield in my art classes and my other courses I've taken will help me do that. Wonderful. Well, you are so impressive and this work is so beautiful. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. <laughs>